and stem cell research can potentially help treat a range of medical problems from repairing damaged organs to possibly curing Parkinson's. A special scientific conference highlighting the most recent discoveries in stem cell research is being held here in Connecticut tomorrow in Farmington. Here to talk about it is UConn's Caroline Dealey. How are you? Hi. How are you doing? Well, let's talk a little bit about the, the meeting of the minds, so to speak. It's basically just scientists that are getting together from all over the world, all over the country, I should say, and here as well, some local researchers as yourself. That's right. It's called STEMCon, and it's a scientific symposium. It's uh, a major international symposium, as you mentioned. It's featuring scientific exchange between uh, investigators here mm -hmm. in Connecticut doing stem cell research, as well as invited speakers from uh, major New England universities and around the world. And Connecticut is really making its mark when it comes to stem cell research. Talk a little bit more about that. Address that. It's been really exciting. The past few years in Connecticut, um, stem cell research has really made tremendous progress, mainly in part to uh, the state of Connecticut's commitment to stem cell research and their state-funded stem cell research program. And speaking of funding, you received some funding for a research project. It, it has to deal with, what is it, cartilage repairs or bone repairs? It does. It's cartilage repair. And yes, I was fortunate to receive some funding uh, through the state of Connecticut, and our work has made a lot of progress, we think, in devising uh, ways that stem cells may be used to repair uh, damaged cartilage in the joints of people that could be suffering from osteoarthritis. Oh, that's, that's very interesting, and that could benefit so many people. Osteoarthritis is a huge problem. There's no cure mm -hmm. for it, and there, the only treatments are really to treat the pain and the mobility loss. It's a, it's a major cause of disability in the country and in the state of Connecticut. So at this conference, you're sharing notes, so to speak. So everybody's talking about different discoveries. What happens after this, after you get together and talk about this, what's next? Well, the next steps when, you know, science moves forward through collaboration and exchange between the scientists in the community as well as beyond the scientific researchers themselves. The next steps will be to go home with this new information that we've all learned from the conference and start using some of those ideas to move our own research forward into new directions that hopefully can be used for stem cells to help treat some of these disabling human conditions. And some of these potential benefits of stem cell research and, and projects, they're endless, some of the, the things that they could help uh, cure. Absolutely. As you mentioned, there are ideas for stem cells being used to cure, to cure neural degenerative disorders, heart disease, Diabetes. as well as osteoarthritis, my own area. Okay, okay. Thank you so much. Thank and, you for And good luck me. and have, have a good time. And I, I hope you get a lot of information, a wealth of information I, we there. We all will. Tomorrow. Okay, thank you so much.